I was able to go on disability and stay at home with my kids, so I was able to be a stay-at-home mom. Um, but as far as that goes, that's probably the only good part of it. It's, it's a very difficult degenerative disease. It gets worse and worse every year. I had a really normal childhood, um, run, jumped, was at the pool every day, did sports in high school, did basketball, um, did volleyball, um, did all kinds of extracurricular activity including, you know, plays and show choir. Well, I noticed for sure the symptoms by the time I was 19. I would have tingling and numbness in my feet and I just had fatigue. I couldn't keep up with everybody else. Even though I exercised and did all eight right, I just could never keep up with my friends. And so I went to a student health doctor who said, I think you have MS, and sent me to a neurologist. I went to the neurologist, and the neurologist said, I was overweight, there was nothing wrong with me. And so shortly after that, different symptoms showed up, um, most notably double vision and severe light weakness and finally when I got the double vision um, I went to an eye doctor who said you have MS finally. Um, that has completely taken away my sense of independence in the fact that I can feed myself, but that's about the only other thing I can do. Um, otherwise, somebody else has to get me dressed, wake me up, or someone has to take me to the bathroom, someone has to shower me, somebody has to feed me. So I never get anything done when I want it done. Everything is done on someone else's schedule. And it's really hard when, you know, you just want to get up and go grab a, a glass of water and you can't even do that. So. Even the simplest things became very stressful. My legs, I had muscle spasms. So all of those different things that happened to me required a different med. So right now I take 19 different meds every day. Um, I have a real problem struggling with my I would call it a train of thought. Um, I'll start thinking about something, I'll ask somebody a question, I'll get to the what do you, and then I'll forget the rest of the question. Mostly is my weakness and my pain. I have chronic pain on my back. I feel like um, I ha I'm being burned constantly on my back. And so I have to take pain medication for that do physical therapy, stuff like that, but I've also still got the tingling, numb feet and legs, and um, I would say fatigue is probably the hardest thing. That. You can't just look at Ramona and know she has MS. I mean, you you know something's up if you see her walk or see her in her wheelchair. But uh, just to look at her, um, you you can't tell she's handicapped.
more than once she's called me and, and told me she's on the floor. Um, so um, they're very flexible at my job. Uh, and I only, I only uh, work about 10 minutes away. So I can come home and get her up off the floor. Um, more than once she's, uh, she's hidden from me that she's had to call the fireman. Um, uh, the fire station's just down the street. And she uh, was too embarrassed to call me to, to come and get her. Um, so she's called for help. And um, no matter how many times she asks them to not come, lights and sirens, it is required. So more than on more than one occasion, you'll see a fire engine in front of our house. My MS, first of all, started off with, they had just come out with an MS treatment and it was a shot that I had to give myself um, every day. And then it switched to a once a week shot, but that didn't work very well and I had horrible flu-like side effects. So four days of the week, I feel like I had the flu and I only have three days that were good. And when you have kids, you know, there's, there's no, I'm having a bad day you have to be mom 24-7. You can't just say, I'm not feeling well today. Take care of yourselves, raise yourselves. Now they have finally come out, because I was taking the last thing, was a shot every day. They finally, about three years ago, came out with an oral medication. So now I just take a pill every, every day, twice a day for it. And I still have all my other associated medical problems that I have to take pills for every day. Nothing can cure it. What it does is it slows down my exacerbations so that I have less attacks each year. And the severity of the attacks isn't as much, but it slowed it down, that's all it did. Now they finally, the pills that they've come out, um, they actually slow the progression of the disease, they slow the severity, um, and actually some things in me have gotten better, like my double vision, um, some of my spasms have gotten better. Um, I feel like nothing has helped my fatigue though and my leg weakness, which is my biggest problem. So I can't walk anywhere, I can't even climb in bed because I, m my legs are so weak. I can't sit up in bed because my legs are, or my abdominal muscles and back muscles are so weak. The medication she's on to help combat her MS, um, um, in layman's terms, it quiets down her immune system that's attacking her. So if you quiet down or lessen someone's immune system, that means by definition they're immunocompromised. So, you know, if, if somebody comes to our house uh, with a cold or the flu, um, you know, uh, Ramona will more than likely catch the cold or catch the flu. Every day I have to think about, well, let's see, is it over 83 degrees? If so, I can't leave the house because MS is exacerbated by that. And the same thing if it's below 32 degrees, it does the exact same thing, it exacerbates it. So it, it even determines the days I can leave the house and not leave the house. Um, she doesn't really drive uh, anymore um, because her MS uh, has progressed to the point where it's you know difficult for her to leave the home, let alone uh, go out and drive. So um, she's pretty much uh, stuck here. As much as I can, I try to get her out.
costs are very big unfortunately. Um, first of all, it starts off with needing wheelchairs and walkers, which are quite expensive. You know, uh, a good wheelchair is almost a thousand dollars. A walker is four hundred dollars, and then my meds alone are, depending on which ones you're on, are anywhere from two thousand to five thousand a month. Um, it's affected everybody's uh, life in our family. Um, it's a daily presence in our life. Um, but it, you know, when we wake up to when we go to sleep, we have to um, uh, help Ramona with even the simplest things. It's uh, difficult. It can be stressful. Um, it could be easy as just taking her to a doctor's appointment, or it could be as stressful as, um, you know, having to um, get her dressed because she's very fatigued that day. Um, uh, MS is not the same every day. Unfortunately, you know, Ramona has had to count on uh, me being, you know, a spouse and a caregiver, and um, we've had to rely on our children to be more caregivers than um, the normal teenager would have to be. change the house somewhat so I can get around the house. Um, my husband changed the hinges on the door so the door opens further so I have a wider doorway and we try to keep things off of the floor and out of my way at all times but the house is still way too small. It's still really difficulty. It's a real difficulty for me to get out of the house because I still have to go down a ramp and, and going down is worse than going up especially when you get double vision. One of the other things that happens with my double vision sometimes is dizziness. And so it's really bad when you're dizzy and you're trying to walk down a ramp. It's social isolating, it's physically isolating. Thank you.